Total Energy's recent decision to withdraw from South African offshore gas exploration has generated serious concerns regarding the region's future oil and gas discoveries. Total Energies, one of the world's largest energy companies, has played an important role in South Africa's attempts to exploit its massive offshore reserves. Many people are left wondering whether there is still oil to be found after their abrupt departure. South Africa has traditionally relied on coal to meet its energy demands. But the drive for energy independence and greener energy sources has escalated in recent years. This approach has relied heavily on offshore gas exploration, particularly in the deep seas of the Outaniqua Basin and the potential Orange Basin. The country's greatest offshore gas discoveries to date are seen as crucial for lowering dependence on coal, solving energy shortages, and transitioning to a more diverse and sustainable energy mix. However, Total Energy's withdrawal from Block 11 B12B project in the Outaniqua Basin is a setback to these plans. The block had shown tremendous potential, with gas reserves estimated to be up to 11 trillion cubic feet, making it one of the biggest finds in South African history. Despite this, the corporation has opted to step back, citing a variety of issues, from financial to environmental. While Total Energies has exited the competition, other firms remain committed to South Africa's offshore potential. Africa Energy, via its investment in Main Street 1549, retains an interest in the exploration of Block 11 B12B project and intends to seek fresh prospects. As South Africa confronts the issue of losing a significant investor in its energy industry, the question remains, will other firms fill the void or will the country's offshore oil and gas goals go unfulfilled? South Africa has long acknowledged the need for diversifying its energy sources as it strives to reduce its reliance on coal, which presently dominates the country's energy mix. The government has progressed in transitioning to cleaner and more sustainable energy sources, with coal accounting for around 77% of its electrical generation. One of the key components of this approach is the exploitation of the country's offshore gas reserves, which have the potential to drastically change the energy landscape. South Africa's offshore gas discoveries are among the greatest in the country's history, with the Outaniqua Basin and Orange Basin being particularly remarkable. Experts believe these reserves, estimated to contain over 11 trillion cubic feet of natural gas, are crucial for enhancing energy security and reducing dependence on imported fuels. South Africa's energy industry heralded the discovery of the Brulpada and Luipert gas fields in the Outaniqua Basin off its southern coast as a significant accomplishment. These fields not only provide much-needed respite to the country's stressed power infrastructure, plagued by rolling blackouts and inadequate generating capacity, but also fuel the economy. Furthermore, the government's integrated resource plan, which describes the country's energy future, emphasizes the need for boosting natural gas and renewables in the energy mix in order to transition to a more environmentally friendly future. Efforts to exploit South Africa's offshore gas resources are part of a larger plan to attain energy independence. The nation has experienced chronic energy shortages in recent years, with aged coal-fired power plants unable to meet demand. The construction of gas infrastructure would not only assist in addressing these concerns, but would also position South Africa as a vital player in the global energy market. Furthermore, the global shift away from fossil fuels like coal views natural gas as a transitional fuel that can bridge the transition to a cleaner energy future. While Total Energy's withdrawal from South Africa's offshore gas battle seems to be a big blow, other energy investors remain unfazed, relying on the country's undiscovered potential. Africa Energy, for example, retains a 10% stake in the potential Block 11B-12B as part of its 49% investment in Main Street 1549. The business has said unequivocally that it has no intention of leaving, indicating its belief in the long-term potential of South Africa's offshore energy industry. Africa Energy's unwavering commitment to its South African operations underlines its confidence that the region's offshore deposits still have substantial potential. Despite Total Energy's departure, the Brulpada and Louisburg fields remain among South Africa's most significant gas discoveries 
with the potential to produce electricity for decades. Africa Energy has been actively involved in this initiative for a long time, mirroring a broader industry trend where smaller, more specialized corporations intervene when larger companies like Total Energies perceive too much risk. These businesses often have a higher risk tolerance and are more prepared to invest resources in long-term initiatives with potentially big returns. Other regional participants, such as smaller independent energy corporations and exploration groups, are keeping a close watch on South Africa's offshore resources. These startups want to build on the efforts of larger organizations like Total Energies, which pioneered the way by finding prospective deposits and performing initial exploratory operations. With much of the foundation already established, these businesses may come in and pick up where Total Energies left off, potentially reaping large dividends if further research is successful. Following Total Energy's exit from South Africa's offshore gas industry, the Orange Basin, situated on the northern Atlantic coast near the Namibian border, has emerged as a beacon of hope for the region's future oil and gas development. The basin has been a focus for energy corporations, with many opportunities for new discoveries. The increasing interest in the Orange Basin is primarily due to recent substantial oil discoveries just over the border in Namibian seas. These findings have sparked renewed interest in South Africa's offshore prospects, as the Orange Basin shares geological characteristics with Namibia's productive oil-producing areas. Africa Energy has been especially vociferous about its desire to explore the Orange Basin, diverting some of its attention to the northern area after Total Energy's pullout. The Orange Basin is comparatively underexplored compared to other regions of South Africa's offshore territory, making it an appealing target for businesses looking for undeveloped deposits. Recent drilling in Namibia has yielded encouraging results, as oil giants like Shell and Total Energies have discovered massive oil deposits, paving the way for Namibia's emergence as a new energy hub in Africa. Many industry experts believe that the Orange Basin has comparable possibilities for South Africa. In conclusion, while Total Energy's exit from South Africa's offshore gas sector has raised some concerns about the country's energy future, continued interest from companies such as Africa Energy, combined with the Orange Basin's untapped potential, ensures that South Africa's offshore energy prospects are far from over. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for our future videos.